In this video, I am going to share how I created this adventure interactive slide to keep my students engaged in our online class. I call this as a learning station's interactive slide. My students will cross each station to reach a goal. This is how it works. Students will start from the lower left corner to the upper right corner of the slide. When the attendance button is clicked, the attendance form will be loaded on the new tab. This is where each student will check in for the meeting. The Learn button will open our lesson. For example, I created this video lesson which students can watch to learn our topic. The Checkpoint button will help me know if my students understood the lesson. For example, this is a simple question I posted in Google Classroom. This is where my students can write their answer too. The Apply button will remind my students of their activity in which the lesson can be applied to. The Explore button will help my students check what are the different materials and classwork posted in our Google Classroom. If they still have missing work, then this will help them go back to it. The Reflect button will allow my students to comment how they feel after crossing each station. Let me show you how I created this interactive slide. First, go to slides.google.com. The title is Learning Stations Template. I am going to insert a word art. I will change its font and will adjust its size. Change its color to blue. The border color is black. Its width is 3 pixels. I will insert a text box to give general instruction to my students. I will put a rounded rectangle here. Change its border color and width. Also, I will change its color. Right click, choose order, and select send to back. I will add a bitmoji. Keyword is I'm here. Click and drag this bitmoji to the slide. Adjust its size and put it in the lower left corner. I will add another bitmoji. Keyword is takeoff. I will put it at the upper right corner. I will add an oval shape. Change its fill color to blue. Border color to black and border size to 2 pixels. Double click to insert number 1. I will also format it. I will press Ctrl D to duplicate. Change the text to 2 in the duplicate shape. I will add 4 more for numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. Next is I am going to add flat icons. If you haven't installed this Google add on, I have a video which demonstrates how to install it. You can watch by going to this video. I will also add a link in the description box. Going back to my demo, for the first keyword, I will enter the word bike. I will select one and click the insert button. I will put this icon or image to the first station. The next icon I will find is scooter. Insert this to the slide too. 
adjust and put it in the right position. The third icon keyword is stop. I will also insert it to the slide. The fourth keyword is motorcycle. Insert this and put to the right position. The fifth keyword I will use is car. This is what I will insert to my slide. The final icon I will put in my slide is airplane. I will select this and will put it in its correct position. At this point, I will use the line tool and select the curved connector to connect my icons. After selecting the line tool, small circles surrounding the icon will appear when mouse pointer is on top of it. I will change its size to 3 pixels and select the broken line. I will select Curved Connector again and will connect the second and third images. We'll do the same for images 3 and 4. Also the same steps for connecting other images. Now, I am going to create buttons. I will insert a rectangle shape. First button is for the attendance. Control D to create the second button, which is a label Learn. Third button is for quick knowledge check question. The fourth button has a label Apply. The fifth button will help my students explore the materials and classwork. And the last button will let them reflect. I will insert text box so they will know what to expect after pressing each button. Here, I will give the instruction to click the button to answer the attendance form. This is the instruction for the second station which is to click the button to learn the lesson. In this example, it's computer ethics. The next instruction will tell my students to click the checkout button to open the question classwork in Google Classroom. The next instruction will remind my students to not forget to apply what they have learned in the lesson to our activity. For the last one, I would like my students to comment how they feel after going through this interactive slide. At this point, I will now insert links to the shapes which will act as buttons. First is the attendance form. This will allow my students to submit a form to record their attendance. If you want to know how I created this form, you may also watch this previous tutorial. Going back to my demo, I will copy the link and I will insert this using the Insert Link tool in Google Slides. For the Learn button, I will get the link of my video lesson. You may also add here other materials that will help students to learn your lesson. For the checkpoint button, I will go to the classwork page of our Google Class. I will find my question classwork, click the three dot symbol or the more options and select copy link. I will paste the link to the insert link tool in the slide. For the apply button, I will go back again to the Google Class. I will also copy the link of our activity. I will also paste it to the shape using the insert link tool. For the explore button, I will copy the link of the entire week. 
then paste it in the Insert Link tool. I will skip first the link for the Reflect button. I will go to the address bar and copy the link of this interactive slide. Then go to the screen page of our Google Class. I will post an announcement. I will paste the link here. I will change the part of the link that starts with edit. I will replace it with preview question mark rm equals minimal so my students will automatically view the file in presentation mode. After posting, I will copy the link of the announcement. Then go back to the slide. Insert the link to the reflect button. Now let's check if the interactive slide is working according to our plan. Students can click the link in the announcement on the stream page. The interactive slide will appear in the new tab. As we can see, the attendance form is loaded. Video lesson is opened. Question in Google Class is here. Introduction for the activity is here. The materials and classwork for the week is displayed. The place where they can write their reflection is here too. I hope this video has given you an idea on how to create adventure-like interactive slide to keep students engaged in our online class. If this is useful, please don't forget to like this video and please share this to your friends. If you are not yet subscribed, please click my picture on the screen to subscribe to my channel. Here are some videos in my channel that I hope will also help you cope up with the challenges of online classes. Thank you!